Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes of your favorite retail giants like Walmart, Target, Sam's, Costco, and maybe even BJ's? As someone who often delivers to these places, I've had a front row seat to the changes and challenges these stores have been facing since the global pandemic of 2020. Today, I want to share a story with you, a story that unravels the mystery of the recent flux of goods in these stores and how it could be your chance to bag some unexpected deals. But remember, every silver lining comes with a cloud. So let's dive in and explore this intriguing tale. I'm often found doing runs to Sam's and Walmart and places like this. And I've got a feeling similar scenes are playing out at other retail giants like Costco and BJ's, Target, and these types of stores that I deliver to. So let me paint you a picture of what's happening behind the scenes. I've been hauling goods to these stores for years. And just a few weeks ago, the storage area, the back rooms at Sam's and Walmart were echoing with emptiness. There wasn't really much back there, but things took a drastic turn recently in the last few weeks. On my latest visit, the place was buzzing with activity and stacked to the brim. I couldn't help but ask the shipping manager about the sudden shift at Walmart and Sam's. Turns out they both had the same story. Last year's ordered goods that did not sell and were stored in those notorious shipping containers is finally hitting the shelves once again for a second time around. So brace yourselves as these big box stores are about to have a smorgasbord of products to choose from. Twist comes with a pinch of salt. The manager did disclose that much of this inventory has been either lying in dormant for over a year in containers, stuck in limbo somewhere, on ships, in a yard, or being hauled across states or warehouses. Oh, and all the stores in Walmart that are being closed, that merchandise has to go to some lucky store somewhere. So if you plan to visit these stores, you want to play detective with these expiry dates and also you might just stumble upon some unexpected sales in a lot of these stores these time stamp goods can't be retailed at full price anymore making it a race against the clock to sell them off before they become a total loss when these warehouses receive the shipments it's like the starting buzzer for a grand sorting game really the goods are scanned, sorted, and loaded into trailers bound for all these different stores all across the country. This is why you often see towering racks of products in stores. These retailers don't hoard goods in separate warehouses. They use their space for a relay race of sorting and redistributing this product throughout the country. So what's the translation for us, the shoppers? Get ready to see a bonanza of items with price tags that are friendlier on the pocket. Thanks to the urgency to sell off these long stored products. The scene has changed dramatically since pre-pandemic days when an order came in and sold in the blink of an eye. Remember that? At the regular prices, no doubt. So, while you're out shopping, be sure to play Sherlock Holmes with the dates and the products you're picking up. However, let's not get carried away though. This windfall of goods is more of a flash in the pan. While it might seem like they're on top of last year's backlog, the hard truth is there's a 
trickle of stock arriving on these container ships in today's world. With China still grappling with their good old Charlie Victor 19, the domino effect is felt worldwide. As we sail further into this year, these goods will start to dwindle and the timeline for restocking remains a mystery. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining, and this tricky retailer situation might just be the bargain you've been waiting for. Big box stores like Sam's, Costco, Walmart, Target, BJ's will have to slash prices to move stock. So put on your deal spotter hat and stay alert. In these turbulent times of inflation, if you come across a good deal that has a decent shelf life, think about filling up your cart, if you can afford it. This situation might just be the break we've been looking for, turning the tables in favor of the consumer who can beg a good bargain and save some bucks. So put on your explorer hat and scout your local big box store folks, it might just be the lifeline you need to weather the next wave of shortages, ensuring you've got enough supplies tucked away for you and your family. And I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.